This is an ultrasound image that shows the skin, the healthy fatty tissue, the muscle, and the lung. And right here, there's a thin ribbon of breast gland tissue right here. So this, in theory, is where we want to take all the tissue down to the muscle. But this skin and this fat that's in these layers right here, this is safe to, to leave. So if we look at it in other imaging modalities, like, for instance, the mammogram, She's got pretty low density breasts. There's not a lot of, of milk gland tissue that we see and what is there is very thin and kind of spidery. But you can see there's, there's, a, there's a faint line that's kind of right here. It's kind of outlining where the breast tissue stops and starts. And then if we look at her MRI image, again, we can see here's her nipple with the breast gland tissue. So she's got most of her breast gland tissue is kind of right around her nipple and areola. And then it really peters off into little tiny, very thin spider web elements of it. So we want to preserve the fatty tissue with the great blood supply, but we want to get rid of the breast gland tissue that could possibly turn cancerous in the future. So it's interesting to look at the imaging and see um, what we can preserve and, and you know where we need to kind of make our dissection line. But there's plenty of healthy tissue here to, to leave behind, to reconform back into a, a, a fullness that is going to look like a nice breast and we'll be able to leave her nipple as well.